It's the new Red Green Show. <laughs> and now, here's a man who needs no introduction, but oftentimes an alibi. Your hero, my uncle, Red Green. <laughs> We had a bit of a problem here yesterday. Uh, Junior got a new rear view mirror for his car, a real Hummer, and uh, he had to borrow a cordless drill from Alfie Dingle to install the darn thing. This was a huge darn mirror. I think it was right out of the space shuttle, this thing. You know? <laughs> About four feet wide, kind of a rear view mirror IMAX deal. On it. <laughs> he got that mounted on there, and I'm telling you, he's driving along and he can see everything behind him. He doesn't turn his head around, doesn't flip around at all. He can see everything behind the car. Man. Uh, it's too bad the blueberry stand was in front of it. Yeah. yeah. He just hit it oh, head on. Nailed he it. wiped her nailed out of there. It. <laughs> nailed it. It was good. Oh, it's okay, though. Like, nobody was hurt or anything, because the, the blueberries acted like a million little airbags. <laughs> Junior Singleton car, though, it's not white anymore. It's no. sort of like a blueberry blue. Yeah. But he likes it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's going to take that mirror off there, because that's a problem. But uh, he can't borrow the cordless drill from Alfie, because Alfie was also the owner of the blueberry stand. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little ticked. He's yeah. crushed. <laughs> <laughs> So now, now, get this, get this. Junior has given Harold here a hundred bucks, show him, <laughs> yeah, to buy him a new cordless drill. How about that, huh? That's excellent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Buying a power tool makes you a man. <laughs> well then, Harold, you better make sure you get it half off. <laughs> What you're looking at here is a bunch of segments from this particular show. The main message being, for gosh sakes, don't even think about changing the channel. I'll tell you something, if you're gonna try and make sense out of this program, you gotta give it your undivided attention. Boy, I sure hope Harold can handle the pressure of buying this cordless drill, you know? This could be a turning point for Harold. Maybe the kids won't beat up on him so bad, huh? You know, although when they see that cordless unit, it might give them the idea to drill them one. <laughs> Just never know. Uncle Red, I got it! I got it, I got it, I got it. It's a beauty. It is a beauty, too. I got, oh, it's such a beautiful drill. It's cordless, it's reversible, right? It's got, like, extra batteries and a charger, bits, carrying case, everything, top of the line, $97. Yes, please, ring it through. Ching, ching, have a ring, no day. <laughs> 97 bucks, Harold? Yipper. Boy, they saw you coming, didn't they? <laughs> Well, I got it at Lenny's electrical shop. Oh, Harold, don't buy from Lenny's. He hates us in there. We owe him money. Well, if I could only shop places you don't owe money to, it, I'd have to go to France. <laughs> you don't want to be buying stuff from Lenny. He's just a middleman, okay? He's got overhead. Why does a little shop he runs out of his basement? Well, that can't be cheap, Harold. He's got the sump pump running day and night in there. <laughs> no, that's crazy. That's crazy. $97 is a fair price. Really, eh? Well, they're ninety-four fifty up at the hardware and such. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, all right, three bucks, big deal. Hey, you save three bucks a day every day of the month. How much money have you got? Well, it depends on the month. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't. Three bucks is three bucks, whether it's February or May. These kids of the day, they got no money sense at all. I'll show you something, young man. I'll get a drill so cheap it'll make your head spin. If it'd make his head spin, we wouldn't need a drill. <laughs> A little later on in the show now, we're going to have the adventures with Bill and uh, what he's going to be doing this week. Real exciting. No, it's not what you're thinking. Uh, he's going to be doing some pole vault. Boy. Oh! <laughs> Golly. Oh. Now his first challenge, he's going to try and vault over the van. Gosh, I, I hope this goes well. Perfect. to tell me about some nut bar product they think I should own. If you look back through history at the cause of every war, you'll find happy, happy people, happy, happy people, and an army of guys like me who just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> Okay, well, we're playing for the grand prize of a turnip farm and four tons of wax. <laughs> Uncle Red, you have 30 seconds to get Mr. Buzz Sherwood to say this word. Buzz, excellent. The word is quiet. Quiet, now we get it. <laughs> and go. Okay, Buzz. Oh, cool. Okay, 
A machine that isn't loud is broken. <laughs> no, no. If, if you don't make any noise, you're... Oh, you're dead, man. <laughs> I, I'm not... Peace and... Carrots! <laughs> peas. Oh. Peace. Oh, pe pe peace and... Uh, love? Uh, come together? Rash? <laughs> oh. People come up to Possum Lodge for the peace and... Witness relocation. <laughs> We're almost out of time, yeah, Uncle I know, Red. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just trying to think of things. Think movies, okay? okay yeah. All something on the Western Front. All something uh, on the Western uh, Front. Uh, uh, um, la, 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 la. Food stains! <laughs> Chest hair! <laughs> I can't think of We should just be quiet for a second, man. <laughs> You know, one of the big differences between my generation and Harold's generation is he never got to experience those rear-engine, rear-wheel drive cars. You know, the Volkswagen Beetle, the Corvair? They say the Corvair was unsafe at any speed. And I'm real sorry that Harold missed that. <laughs> so this week, on Handyman Corner, we're going to take a front-engine, front-wheel drive car and turn it into a rear-engine, rear-wheel drive classic. So all you got to do is just uh, take the engine out, move that, and of course you got to move the rad and the... Uh, battery and the windshield. All right, okay. There's not enough duct tape in the world for that job. <laughs> now we're scuppered. Unless, you know that just might work. And even if it doesn't, I don't care. This is old man Sedgwick's car. <laughs> All right. All right, to turn a front engine, front wheel drive vehicle into a rear engine, rear wheel drive vehicle, all you have to do is take out the whole interior, turn everything around, put the controls and the steering wheel back at the back and have the seats facing the other way. And there you are, it's that simple. Now, uh, to get the front seat out there, all you need is uh, maybe some tools, some oil, or <laughs> just some rust. I mean, rust is a natural process. It's always good to work with nature. <laughs> And uh, once you got the seat removed, and of course you've removed the uh, the upholstery, which you really should replace, you know, from time to time. All right, so you want just let her cool down, you know, and then take the driver's seat like this, and you want to put her in the car backwards, okay? And you really want to secure that thing in there. You can bolt it down, you can weld it to the floor, or you can do what I like to do: use the handyman secret weapon, <laughs> duct tape. You know, you could actually use this as uh, as your new upholstery. Heck, if you put it on sticky side out, you wouldn't even need seat belts. <laughs> and once you got her all done, you just mount her inside with more of the same. Okay, now rather than take all the car controls out and uh, mount them on the back there, I suggest you get a completely different set of controls out of a boat. You know, maybe a boat you don't want anymore or somebody doesn't want anymore. Or at least they won't as soon as they find out the controls have been ripped out of it. So you take the steering wheel from the boat and you hook that up to the steering wheel of the car. Your gas pedal, you hook up to the hand throttle from the boat. And as far as the brakes go, use your anchor rope. Uh, we got our controls all hooked up, but the only problem is now we got the white headlights at the back, we got the red tail lights at the front. So to correct that, we gotta just take those off. Okay, it's a Phillips uh, screwdriver. <laughs> all right, now I need some of these uh, plastic uh, flower holders here, and you can turn headlights into tail lights. <laughs> all right, we got the controls all set up, and she's uh, ready to go boating. All right. I should say driving. Watch this. <laughs> I'll start her up. And you see, it's just that easy to turn a front-wheel drive front-engine car into a rear-wheel drive rear-engine car. Just put everything in reverse. So remember, if women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. It's the best of both worlds. He looks like a car. He drives like a boat. The Titanic. 
stay tuned and relax. Whatever this is, we got a lot more of it. I'm going to talk to you ladies out there so that you don't panic when your husband starts going a little wacky. <laughs> Man gets to a certain age, he looks around at all the stuff and he realizes he basically has nothing to show for his whole life. Uh, he may have spent the last 25 years sitting at a desk or maybe being on the phone all that time. And the only progress he's made is building a huge gut that protects his belt from the sun. You may find at this point that uh, your man will go out and uh, buy himself some power tools and start disappearing into the garage for long periods of time. <laughs> now, there's nothing to worry about here. What he's doing is building some huge, clumsy, odd-looking piece of crap <laughs> that he's going to leave behind so people will remember him. <laughs> they won't be fond memories, but he doesn't need to know that now. <laughs> And I'll tell you something, if his mother had kept that 65-pound ashtray he brought home in grade five, none of this would have happened. <laughs> so here's something for you moms of today, remember. When your son comes home with his first project, you treasure it, you keep it, and leave it out on the counter where everybody gets to look at it all the time. You'll be doing his future wife a huge favor. <laughs> remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. it hurt yet? <laughs> Cut it out, Harold. I found the exact same cordless drill over at the Drill Depot, but instead of $97, it was $86.99, Harold. Wow. Yeah. That's like a $10 one cent savings. Yeah, but there was no carrying case and no drill bits with it. Oh, so the one I got is okay. No, no, because then I went up to uh, Power Tools R Us. Oh, Uncle Red, Uncle Red, that's Power Tools Rust. The T fell off the sign. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, they had it for eight bucks less. Oh, so you got that one? No, it didn't come with a charger. You know, then I went up to Number Lumber. Wait, 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 I thought you weren't allowed back in that store. Well, I waited until his wife left. <laughs> I promised to pay him cash. That helps. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So he had the whole deal. He got the drill, the case, the battery charger, and the drill bits, 80 bucks. Wow, excellent, yeah, okay. Yeah, but, but no stock. No stock. No, no, so Junior needs it today. So now I'm gonna go up to Bill's Build All in Buildings. Uncle Rhett, wait, wait, what about all your time and gas? Harold, when you get to my age, time and gas is all you have left. <laughs> all right, time for invention for Bill. Bill's got an idea. He's going to do some pole vault in there, and I'm suggesting, by golly, you know, that ground's pretty hard. You're going to land on that, and you're going to break every bone in your body. And... You know what? Always oh, got another idea. Oh, he's got some, something that's, some type of padding left over from the disco era. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Wow. That must have been uncomfortable to sit on. Anyway, he's gonna use that as his... That'd be the landing area there. Okay, that makes sense. Now, uh, now what, Bill? Huh? Take the phone. All right. Well, I guess I'll go back with him. I don't know quite what he's got in mind, but we'll see. <laughs> that can't be all there is to it. All right. Uh, yeah, away he goes, and... Uh, Again, the hard ground. She won't dig in, she won't dig in, she won't dig in. She won't dig in. She won't... Oh, there you go. But you're too close, you're too close. Oh. You're too close, Bill. All right, so he needs, to, he needs to make a spot there. So he's gonna have me, I don't know what I was thinking of here, but he wanted to use my foot as the, kind of the backstop for the pole, so the pole won't slide up and he won't be too, I'm getting old, so I just bend over there. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, look out, look out, look out, look out. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, 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 hey, hey. Hey, that's cool! Wow. Make a wish. All right, now he's got a better idea. He's gonna plant a little hole. Ow! Oh! In my foot. Thank you, Bill. There you go, there you go. All right, there you go. I got it. Back he goes, just back away there. Yeah, yeah, that's a good plan. And uh, here he comes, Mr. Athlete. Yeah! And there we go. Perfect, and you're gonna clear it for sure. Oh, maybe not. You know, it's going to take us a few minutes to get Bill's head out between his shoulder blades, so we'll finish the adventure a little bit later in the show. With my 12-step program, I can help you overcome that biological imperative. No more denial! No more, sorry, it's a guy thing, you know? <laughs> so I want to start the meeting by calling on my Uncle Red. Uncle Red. Oh, man. No, 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 never mind, never mind. <laughs> 
All right, uh, my name is Red, and I'm a man. Hi, Hi Red. Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do the Men Anonymous Pledge, I guess. Yeah. I'm a male, but I can change if I have to, I guess. <laughs> OK, well done, uh, well done. All right, let's just uh, you know, roll up in the meeting. Let's get started right away. Um, who wants to share their feelings? Okay, uh, who wants to tell a really good story about themselves? Yeah. Oh, okay, great, yeah. Okay, um, Dalton. Oh. <clears throat> All right, uh, my name's, uh, Dalton. Hi, Hi Dalton. Dalton. I'm a man, and, uh, I have been ever since the age of nine. Uh, <laughs> I'm working on it, and, uh, you know, one day at a time. Anyway, I was out in the, the garage uh, the other day, and I, I, I found this. And uh, I, I don't know what it's for, and I don't know what it does, and um, it's not worth much, obviously, and uh, can't think of a thing to use it for, so I threw it out. Oh, oh right. Right. very good. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I know that someday I'm going to be working around the house doing something, and I'm going to need it, but uh, it'll be the perfect thing. I threw it out. How come you still have it? Well, I, I thought of what I could use it for, so I went back and pulled it out of the garbage. What are you going to use it for? Well, well, to, to bring to the meeting. <laughs> you know, to show, to show you. You know, to, to show my resolve. You know, I'm, I'm going to keep this as a, re a reminder of how strong I am when I put my mind to it. This is a trophy! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, now, here we are to finally finish off the Adventures with Bill. We're ready to finish this thing off, that's for sure. Just trying to finish her off here. And he's decided that one pole isn't long enough. That's why he's not clearing the bar. So we got a couple. There we got a couple together. Boy, that, that looks safe and sturdy, yeah. doesn't it? And so does the pole. Yeah. And he comes, and he comes, and we plant that. And then up, 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 up. There you go. Up, up. Now, this happens to a lot of men Bill's age. <laughs> Come on, Bill. Give it up. So what he decides he needs is uh, more speed. Yeah. And that's where the possum went. Oh, no, boy. Like it's Sir, it's Sir Vault a lot. Now he goes, and, whoop, and away you go over the bar. Hey, that's three points. Nah, nah. Well, I think that we finally got this thing finished off. Don't we, Bill? Yeah, he's finished off. <laughs> Special thanks to a viewer for these Possum Lodge Band-Aids made out of duct tape. Golly, there is nothing like getting a bunch of great bargains to make you feel good. <laughs> and then with the money you save, you can buy more bargains. So, so how much did you pay for the cordless drill? Cordless? Oh. Yeah, we almost bought one up in Port Asbestos. <laughs> Port Asbestos? Yeah. You went all the way to Port Asbestos just to save a few bucks? Harold, if you want to save an extra dollar, you got to go an extra mile. An extra 125 miles? Oh. <laughs> did you save an extra 125 dollars? Because if you did, that means you spent like minus 28 on the drill. <laughs> well, it was almost that cheap. They had one there at the Shoppers Club. 72.50, Harold. Mind you, you had to be there for the manager's special. You had to clip the coupon, and you had to cash in all your air miles there, and then you had to scratch and save, and then mail in the rebate. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So how much did you end up paying? Well, nothing, Harold, because there were so many other bargains, you know. Just, um, yeah, the stuff they had, um, but cheese, Harold, cheese. They had 25 pounds of cheese for 10 bucks. How can you say that? <laughs> and I'll tell you, it looked great, really orangey. You know, oh, wow. and then of course you get that much cheese, you got to go with the crackers on that. You know, and they had a huge bucket of crackers, twenty-three bucks, and then the old man says you got a big barrel of Lego. Okay, okay, well, all right, all right. How much did you join this great shoppers club? It was only forty-five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but well, you can see why we didn't have any money to buy a cordless. But don't worry about that, because now we're going to go where the real bargains are, Harold. Across the border. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Duty-free perfume, beer. They got the cheap shoes, the cheap shirts, cheap cordless drills. God bless America. <laughs> God save America. <laughs> I want to talk to you young kids out there. If any of you are watching, you know something? I feel sorry for you guys. That'll be tough being a kid these days. As soon as you find something cool to wear or to do, some dorky parent starts doing exactly the same thing because it makes them feel young again. Maybe it's wearing your baseball cap backwards or 
wearing your pants inside out or maybe that mosh pit thing with the thrash metal music, it doesn't matter what it is. Parents will get into it and that makes it uncool for you to do it. Plus, how must it make you feel when a senior citizen can do it better than you can? <laughs> well, you know what I say? What you gotta do is you gotta start getting into weirder and weirder music, wearing wilder and wilder clothes, and doing stranger and stranger behavioral items. Eventually, you'll be so far out there that no adult in their right mind will try it. But don't get your hopes up. Adults in their right mind are a minority. <laughs> Is that you, Uncle Red, or the path of the tornado? <laughs> Harold, you missed out on some great bargains, I'll tell you that. Well, how, how'd you get across the border with all that? I thought you were allowed like $300 worth of stuff. Customs let you through? Or, no, but we never got as far as the border, Harold. Oh, <laughs> oh the lawn sales. Man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, that certainly explained the wagon wheel. Yeah. I got three more just like it for 20 bucks, Harold. <laughs> Think of the stuff we can make, eh? Coffee table. I'm thinking coat rack, lazy Susan, you know? Where, where have you ever seen a lawn chair for five bucks and had real wood on the handles? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. You know what? I'm, this is just, a, you know, me thinking. I'm yeah. just, you know, I'm thinking there, you know? <laughs> so I'm thinking, did, did you happen to pick up a cordless drill for Junior Singleton? Remember that? Cordless drill. Yeah. Think back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got one for 10 bucks, Harold. Huh? 10 bucks? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> hey. Cordless, variable speed, reversible, and never needs charging. <laughs> okay, all right, fine, oh, good, whatever, but I'm keeping this one. I love this, this is great. I've been, like, drilling and sanding and boring all day. Oh, Harold, you've been boring all your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll all have, you uh, know, I fixed 9,000 things with this today. <laughs> I'm gonna fix lots more, too, you know, but I ran out of screws. Oh, Harold, I know where we can get them real cheap. No, don't even think about it. Don't you do that. Oi. Don't clear your head. Oi. Oh, that's the possum. Okay, it's yeah. time for the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'll see you downstairs then, Mr. Bargoon. Yeah, I'll be right there, Mr. Total Goon. <laughs> My wife is watching. I'll be coming straight home after the meeting, unless, you know, I go buy a yard sale or a garage sale or a dump. <laughs> for the rest of you, thanks for watching. And on behalf of myself and Harold and the whole gang up here at Paws Lodge, keep your stick on the ice.